When it comes to treating vascular cutaneous lesions, which include vascular anomalies and hemangiomas, the approach by the experts at Children's Hospital is truly unique. We are the only center in Michigan with a vascular anomalies team. And the reason that that's important is because we have brought all the core specialists together. We all uh, will see the patient together and have a treatment plan so that we make sure that we are giving the most comprehensive and up-to-date treatment possible. The team includes the Chief of Pediatric Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery, Dr. Arlene Roselle, Pediatric Interventional Radiologist, Dr. Chris Becker, Pediatric Dermatologist, Dr. Tor Schwader, and Dr. Fahasat Hamzavi. 18-year-old Asha Gabar is one patient who's benefiting from their expertise. First, why don't you hold out your two hands so that we can see that this area obviously is significantly enlarged and I'll let Dr. Becker take a look because she's going to be the one looking at the x-rays with us, okay? And this just started for you, you woke up one morning, up one morning. is this the hand that you write with? Asha has a vascular anomaly in her hand that has been causing pain and limiting movement. Is the pain around the thumb, is the pain in the swollen right area? There. Right in the swollen area, yeah. okay. Vascular anomalies aren't nearly as common as hemangiomas, the other type of malformation that falls into the category of vascular cutaneous lesions. Hemangiomas are benign tumors of blood vessels that only grow in newborn babies. We don't know why. Typically, what happens is the baby may be born and there's just a little pink area or maybe not even anything and then at approximately two to three weeks of age, the area may start to rise and grow and may either just look like an area of swelling or may look like a strawberry. And that's why they're sometimes called strawberry birthmarks. Most of them are a little small ones somewhere where it doesn't ulcerate, it doesn't bleed, it doesn't cause any discomfort or cause any trouble. And the pediatricians advise the parents that over time, this probably won't need any treatment. However, the ones that we see are the ones that are going to cause difficulties. In other words, they're either in the diaper area or they're very large on the arm or leg or um, abdomen or they ulcerate um, or they're in the facial area. When we see a new baby with a more serious hemangioma that is either going to be causing problems with the vision, the airway, eating, or the airway in the neck, uh, we're going to treat that much more aggressively. Three-year-old Annika Biondo-Smith is being treated by the Vascular Anomalies team due to the complicated nature of her condition. Annika has Sturge-Weber syndrome, a rare disorder that affects her vision and brain function. Also part of the condition is the port wine stain, which is on the right side of the face. And, and um, it was very dark when she was born. And since we've been, she's been treated for the uh, port wine stain since she's been three months old. So she's, I think this might be her, you know, 13th or 14th um, laser treatment. But it's looking good, isn't it? Port wine stains are permanent vascular stains that don't go away like hemangiomas eventually do. But they do respond well to laser treatments. Little Lanika is at Children's Hospital for another treatment to reduce the redness of her stain. Long-term prognosis should be very good if everything is followed and kept under control. Wonderful. Before and after each case, Dr. Roselle and the multidisciplinary team meet to discuss the patient's needs and treatment options. Seeing them together, um, discussing it together is incredibly helpful and a very efficient way to take care of the patient. And then the ability to plan a joint procedure for a patient and not have the patient have to troop from one doctor to the next to the right. next to the next with phone calls or emails or whatever. Another thing that's very important is that we're all looking at the lesions together and sharing our experience about what's working for our patients and what isn't so that we can offer people the best treatment. To learn more about vascular cutaneous lesions including hemangiomas and vascular anomalies or to schedule an appointment with Dr. Arlene Roselle, log on to dmc.org or call 888-DMC-2500. I'm Emory King.